anatomy of a dicotyledonous stem. The transverse section of a typical young dicotyledonous stem shows that the following parts. Epidermis, cortex, pericycle, vascular bundle and pith. Epidermis, it is the outermost protective layer of the stem covered by cuticle. It may bear trichomes and a few stomata. Cortex. It is present between epidermis and pericycle. It is divided into three parts, namely hypodermis, cortical layer, and endodermis. It contains few layer of collinchymatous cells and parenchymatous cells with conspicuous intercellular spaces. Rich in starch, the innermost layer of the cortex is called the endodermis. The cells of the endodermis are rich in starch grains and the layer is also referred to as a starch sheath. Pericycle On the inside of endodermis and above the phloem in the form of semilunar patches of sclerenchyma. Vascular bundle In between the vascular bundles there are a few layers of radially placed parenchymatous cells which constitute medullary rays. Vascular bundles are arranged in a ring. This arrangement is a characteristic of dicot stem. They are conjoined, open and have endarch protoxylum. Pith A large number of rounded parenchymatous cells with large intercellular spaces which occupy the central portion of the stem constitute the pith. Anatomy of a monocotyledonous stem Epidermis covered by cuticle Cortex The monocot stem has a sclerenchymatous hypodermis rich in starch Pericycle is same as dicot stem. Vascular bundles are scattered and closed with peripheral bundles being smaller than central. Phloem, parenchyma is absent and water containing cavities are present. Pith is absent. Anatomy of a dorsoventral dicotyledonous leaf. A vertical section of a dorsoventral leaf through the lamina shows three main parts, namely epidermis, mesophyll, and vascular system. Epidermis covers both upper adaxial, bearing less no stomata, and lower abaxial, bearing more stomata, surface of leaf, and bears a cuticle. Mesophyll. The tissue between the upper and the lower epidermis is called the mesophyll. There are numerous large spaces and air cavities between these cells. Differentiated into palisade parenchyma has parallel arranged elongated cells and spongy parenchyma with loosely arranged oval round cells which extends to the lower epidermis. It possesses chlorophyll and carries out photosynthesis. Vascular bundle Present in midrib and veins, reticulate venation, surrounded by bundle sheared cells. Anatomy of isobilateral monocotyledonous leaf The anatomy of isobilateral leaf is similar to that of the dorsoventral leaf in many ways. It shows the following characteristics differences. Epidermis. Stomata present on both sides. Mesophyll. Not differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma. Vascular bundles. Leaves have parallel venation. Bulliform cells, modified epidermal cells, are present along the vein. When the bulliform cells in the leaves have absorbed water and are turgid, the leaf surface is exposed. When they are flaccid due to water stress, they make the leaves curl inwards to minimize water loss.